Hi, my name is Yolanda Davis Overstreet. Last year, I took a camera crew out. We talked to black lives from across Los Angeles in an attempt to answer the question, just how safe are black lives on bikes? Yesterday afternoon around 1, 1 1.30, right in this spot, a young man was riding a bike and he got hit and killed. A cyclist is in critical condition after police say a woman in a car ran over him. Two bicyclists were struck by a speeding vehicle. To a deadly hit and run today in Griffith Park, the driver of a car hit a man in his late 70s riding a bike. One of the first things that I noticed was how fast cars were driving past me, and so I stopped riding my bike. And I was like, whoa, 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 what's happening? You know, what's going on? They're like, oh, you're being detained. For what exactly? Pedestrian safety. Are you talking about me? I shot him five times standing up. Right. And then 11 more times when he was already down for what? Why are you doing that white people stuff? All of that stuff I was met with that phrase. I don't ride through Beverly Hills anymore for what? I, when I was going through Beverly Hills, I would always fit the description. That's not going to change until you take out the institutional racism. Just because there's a bike trail or a bike lane doesn't mean we're going to ride. We still have to deal with the same problems, you know? As you can see in here, we have entered into a crisis. I had to seek further for hope. I had to seek out the voices and see the actions of where folks were working on solutions. Cycling is just not like a white, a white people thing. It's also like there's brown and black people who love this. I believe yeah. there will be change here yes. and lives will be saved.